Welcome to this episode of CP Motto. Today, well, we're cleaning my MacBook with the Viva cleaning kit. Uh, it contains an anti-static rag and some wipes. You can also use glasses cleaner or a very lightly damp tissue. So we're gonna start off by removing our plastic covering. I use this to protect it because I use the computer a lot and it is in dangerous situations at times. As you can see, there is dust at the bottom. We're gonna clean it off with our anti-static rag, clean the edges, because even though it has a cover, the dirt and grime that would normally go on the computer does build up in those cracks. So we'll give that a bit of a wipe over. I uh, will give a wipe off underneath. Now, little tip, uh, when removing any panel from computer that you're cleaning, give it a wipe just so you're not putting dust back on the components you've just cleaned. At this point, we want to remove the battery and these four screws. Unfortunately, I've forgotten to remove the battery and also the bottom four screws. Uh, keen watchers and knowers of MacBooks would notice that I don't have a standard hard drive. I've got an OWC SSD in there. Uh, it performs great. I've had no compatibility issues whatsoever. Um, just a little word of note, as you can see there is two sizes of screws here. There is this one here and this one here. So just keep in mind where you took them out from. Now we're going to remove the bottom panel and check out the dust that's on that. Keep in note that this computer was cleaned one month ago. Uh, as you can see I've got the OWC data doubler in this computer. Uh, we'll just take out the battery because I just realised I haven't taken it out. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the fan. In the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll see the speaker for the computer but check out the dust that is in this computer. Um, this is only one month worth of dust so I use this computer for about six to seven hours per day. Um, it, we'll just give this bit of a wipe, uh, we'll get our anti-static uh, rag in here to give it a bit of clean as well. Um, yeah we'll just give everything a general brush and wipe. Uh, we'll just take apart the fan here, so we're going to clean up the housing and the actual fan itself off camera. Now, we'll put it back together by clipping the little clips in and doing the one little screw up. Um, this computer does have 8GB of RAM in it, so I don't have many limitations with this system. Uh, back to the mod, well, not really mod, but anyway. Uh, back to the cleaning. We'll replace all the screws in exactly the same place we took them from. It is the utmost important you do that with any system, whether it's a PC, a Mac, or any other system. You need to put the screws back where you found them. We'll put the bottom half of the computer back on, remembering to put the screws in exactly the same place. I can't emphasize this enough. I, myself, have put the screws in the wrong spot and haven't figured out why it's not going back together. You must put it back in the same spot. Um, now we'll put the battery back in and the cover back on and we're ready to boot. You now can clean the screen. Uh, it, it took me five minutes to remove the back cover of the computer. So we'll give this a wipe as I will not be cleaning this very often due to the fact that it's very hard. If you send a computer off with any of these covers on to get service, I'd highly recommend that you take off the cover before you send it in because it takes an easy five minutes waste of time. Give the screen a bit of a wipe with our wipes and anti-static rag. Give the rest of the computer a bit of a wipe over. And one final wipe on the display and now the keyboard. We're going to give it a brief wiping and the rest of the body will also get a bit of wiping. And that's basically it. So this is basically how to clean your computer properly. Uh, don't forget to check out the CPU Modder website. Um, there's a forum there, ask questions on your next mod, and while you're there checking out, make sure you register. Uh, it's a simple, easy uh, registration, no hard questions, you don't have to put your birthday if you don't want. So yeah, thank you for checking out this episode of CPU Mortar, we'll see you next time.